Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Miami Heat, Bam Adebayo gets encouraging news that could inspire comeback versus Boston Celtics. The Miami Heat could use all the inspiration they could get as they look to find a way to pull off a first-round upset against the powerful Boston Celtics. Perhaps Bam Adebayo getting an official nod as a finalist in the 2023-24 NBA Defensive Player of the Year award could provide a spark for him and the Heat, who lost in the series opener versus the Celtics on Sunday on the road, 114-94. On Sunday, the NBA released the finalists for the major individual awards in the league this season, with Adebayo joining San Antonio Spurs super rookie Victor Wimbanyama and three-time NBA Defensive Player of the Year winner Rudy Gobert of the Minnesota Timberwolves in the final cut of nominees for the honor. Adebayo has never won a DPOY award in his career in the league thus far, and even though he's a finalist, he appears to still be a long shot to win one this season, as Gobert and Wimbanyama are ahead of them in terms of betting odds. Nevertheless, Adebayo will have to use every ounce of his defensive abilities in this series versus the Celtics, who are stacked with great scoring options, including his big man counterpart Chris Tapps Porzingis, who had 18 points in Game 1. The NBA revealed its top three finalists for seven major individual awards for the 2023-24 regular season, showcasing some familiar faces and rising stars. Nikola Jokic, a consistent MVP contender, earned his fourth straight nomination, while San Antonio Spurs' Victor Wimbanyama emerged as a standout rookie and defensive force. Jokic, a previous MVP winner, continued his stellar performance, leading the Denver Nuggets to another strong season. Joining him as MVP finalists were Shai Gilgis Alexander of the Oklahoma City Thunder and Luka Donich of the Dallas Mavericks, both making their first appearances in the running. In the Rookie of the Year category, no surprises emerged, with the top picks of the 2023 draft dominating. Wimbanyuma, alongside Brandon Miller of the Charlotte Hornets and Chet Holmgren of the Oklahoma City Thunder, showcased their talent in their debut season. Defensive prowess was recognized in the Defensive Player of the Year category, with season player Rudy Gobert of the Minnesota Timberwolves leading the pack. Wimbanyuma and Bam Adebayo of the Miami Heat rounded out the finalists, showcasing their impact on the defensive end. The most improved player category saw Tyrese Maxey of the Philadelphia 76ers, Kobe White of the Chicago Bulls, and Alperin Sengen of the Houston Rockets competing for the honor, each demonstrating significant growth in their performance. In the sixth Man of the Year race, Malik Monk of the Sacramento Kings, Naz Reed of the Minnesota Timberwolves, and Bobby Portis of the Milwaukee Bucks stood out for their contributions off the bench. Coach of the Year finalists included Mark Danio of the Oklahoma City Thunder, Jamal Mosley of the Orlando Magic, and Chris Finch of the Minnesota Timberwolves, each guiding their teams to notable achievements throughout the season. DeMar DeRozan of the Chicago Bulls, Stephen Curry of the Golden State Warriors, and Shai Gilgis Alexander were recognized as finalists for the Clutch Player of the Year award, highlighting their ability to perform under pressure. The NBA will announce the winners of these awards, along with the All-NBA, All-Defense, and All-Rookie teams, in the coming weeks, celebrating the outstanding performances of players and coaches throughout the season. Jason Tatum achieved his first-ever playoff triple-double, scoring 23 points, grabbing 10 rebounds, and dishing out 10 assists as the Boston Celtics defeated the Miami Heat 114-94 in the opening game of their first-round playoff series on Sunday. Derek White contributed 20 points and 4 assists for Boston, with a total of 6 players scoring in double digits. Miami had dashed Boston's hopes of reaching the NBA Finals last season, taking a commanding 3-0 lead in the conference finals and then winning convincingly in Game 7 in Boston. However, Boston drew inspiration from the supportive TD Garden crowd, hitting 22 three-pointers and outscoring the Heat 31-14 in the third quarter. The Celtics' lead extended to as much as 34 points in the fourth quarter. 
Although Miami made a late surge to reduce the deficit to 14, Boston managed to hold on for the win. Including the regular season, Boston boasts an impressive 38-4 home record and has now won its last four encounters with the Heat. Miami Heat's Terry Rozier ruled out with neck injury for crucial playoff matchup. Miami Heat's guard Terry Rozier has been sidelined due to a neck injury, ruling him out for Wednesday's crucial matchup against the Philadelphia 76ers in the 2024 SoFi NBA Play-In Tournament at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN. Unfortunately, Rozier couldn't make the trip to Philadelphia for the game, but there's optimism that he might return for potential upcoming games, including the first round of the playoffs. The injury, described as neck spasms, kept Rozier out of action for the final four games of the regular season, adding to the Heat's concerns ahead of this crucial matchup. The Heat's playoff seeding hinges on this game, a win secures the number 7 seed in the Eastern Conference and sets up a first-round clash with the New York Knicks. However, a loss would mean they need to win on Friday to secure the number 8 seed and a playoff spot. Rozier's absence is significant for the Heat, especially considering his impact since joining the team midseason. Acquired from the Hornets on January 23, the 30-year-old guard has been a key contributor, averaging 16.4 points, 4.6 assists, and 4.2 rebounds in 31 games with Miami this season. Brian Scala Brian accuses Heat of putting a hit out on Jason Tatum. Former Boston Celtics fan favorite Brian Scala Brian made a big accusation against Eric Spolstra and the Miami Heat on Sunday. The Celtics defeated the Heat 114-94 in Game 1 of the first-round playoff series between the two teams at TD Garden in Boston. With roughly a minute left in the fourth quarter, Heat forward Caleb Martin slammed into Celtics star Jason Tatum while Martin was charging into the lane for a rebound. Many felt the play was dirty. You can see the video here. Scala Brian, who works as an analyst for NBC Sports Boston, took things a step further. During the post-game show on Sunday, Scala Brian said it was shady that Spolster called a timeout 30 seconds before Martin committed the hard foul on Tatum. I'm not trying to start nothing here, but I'm just. Eric Spolster called a timeout with 1.30, left, down by 16, Scala Brian said. 30 seconds later that play happens. 30 seconds later? Why is he calling a timeout of 1.30, and why is that play happening 30 seconds later? I don't know man, that looked shady to me. Scala Brian also called the foul a dirty play from Martin and said he believes Martin should be suspended. Spolstra probably will not be happy about Scala Brian's commentary. It is one thing to say you think a player lost his cool and or intentionally threw a cheap shot at an opponent. It is another to accuse a coach of calling a timeout to instruct his team to injure the opposing team's best player. Fortunately, Tatum was not hurt on the play. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Brian Scalabrini? Leave your opinion in the comments.